Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time, I know, since I've sat here, turned on my camera, and filmed. If you watched my last video, which was my like vlog rant, um, you know why. I've just been feeling a little frustrated and a little, you know, I, I don't know, feeling bad for myself, I guess. But, um, and I really wasn't sure, you know, like I said in there, if I really wanted to keep doing this or what, but the love and support that I got from that video was uh, unbelievable. Um, I have another vlog coming out where I could talk about it more. Um, so I will let you watch that video. It'll be coming up after this video. Um, but I am here, I am filming. I have a huge makeup haul, collective haul uh, to share with you guys. And I am going to keep doing this. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I know I do love you guys and I do wanna keep sharing my love for makeup and fashion and beauty and all those things that this channel embodies. And you guys really, you, you touched me. <laughs> you really did. You guys made me feel um, kind of like that there was a place, you know, on YouTube and, and just, I don't know. It, it was something I needed to hear. So that being said, I do have a lot of stuff to show you guys. It is a collective haul, mostly from Sephora and Ulta. Um, I did, I, I mentioned before I got sick and before all the drama happened that um, I was going to be buying stuff from Sephora because I had a couple gift cards for Christmas. So I have stuff from there and then Ulta did another 20% off. Like they were like on a roll. They were like just issuing out these 20% offs that were part of the prestige line. Like a lot, like two, like three, two or three, like back to back. So I had to partake in that because, you know, there were just a couple things that I needed, I wanted, and I got. So I'm gonna just start, I, I, they're kind of all mixed together and I've used a bunch of stuff and some stuff I haven't used. So let's just get started. The first thing I picked up at Sephora were two of these Tom Ford uh, private shadows. Um, they are looking like this. Um, I originally was not gonna get these shadows because the last thing I needed was more single shadows. I really don't reach for single shadows that much. I have a whole drawer full of them that I am actually in the process of doing a huge makeup clean out. Like I've been doing it for like months, um, just everything. So, but they sucked me in because I was looking at swatches and I was like, man, you know, these colors, some of them are really pretty and some of them I could find myself like becoming, using and becoming like everyday colors. So the first one I got is Body Double, which is 01. And it's just this beautiful, like bronzy shimmery shade that I felt like would be perfect. Oh my God, that's like really pretty. Perfect for like spring and summer. You know, just when you are, there it is. Just when you are throwing just one color on your lid or like one or two, and you wanna kind of give it a, you know, just a simple quick look, you know, just for dimension. So I got that and I was like, that's really pretty. It's like the bronzy champagne kind of color. And then the second one I got was Blonde Venus, which is just kind of your, you know, basic, you know, crease color because I, I figured if I'm getting two, you know, because I had like six in my cart and I was like, okay, chill, Nicole, you need to just narrow that down and get two. Um, <laughs> so I got this one because this one seemed, okay, there you go. This one seemed most, like a very neutrally crease color that I could wear those two together or I could just wear this one like all over like a like a one shadow kind of deal like in my crease and on my lid like they just felt like they were the two most reasonable ones I guess you would say I mean there were probably another um crease color that I would have really liked it was more like a mid-tone that would probably complete my look because if I'm doing like a quick shadow look, I would probably do like three colors. Or if I'm doing crease, I, I like to have at least two crease colors, like one lighter, one darker. But hey, that VIB sale for uh, April is right around the corner. So these are really, they're expensive, but they're inexpensive. <laughs> for Tom Ford, I mean, they're like 36 bucks a piece. So that's kind of a lot of money for one shadow. But I mean, it's Tom Ford, so what do you expect? But you know, and then it, you, you think, oh, well, you probably just, you know, have a, a same color like that in your Viseart palette. But it's Tom Ford, and the, and the colors are really smooth and blendable. So I picked those up, and I really do, 
I like them. I have worn the um, crease color a couple times and it's, it's just, it's very nice. So the uh, shimmery shade, I'm excited to play with that. But you guys know me, I love, especially in the spring and summer, I love to do like a pop of shimmer on my lid and just kind of go with that look. So I picked that up and then I picked up this, this is the, um, I think I got this, I got this at um, Ulta with their 20% off. I wanted, I told you guys I wanted to pick up another shade of the uh, soft matte concealer. I have, um, I have it right here. I have it in light 2.5 and this is light 2.75. So I literally did go up half a shade because I was in the store and I was swatching them all and I couldn't, like I swatched the one that I have and I was like swatching all the ones after it and Oh my god, some of them just have these crazy undertones. So I went with just literally a half a shade darker just so I could have it to match my under eyes a little bit better. So this is light 2.75, right? And then this is, yeah, light 2.5. I'm going to make sure I was picking the right one. So this is what it looks like. And now I haven't tried this because, well, I don't know. It's just been sitting here. Some of the stuff I, I did want to try and some of the stuff I just, I let it sit here. But... This was a really pretty shade. Like, if you can see, I swatched it right here. Now, I'm not really self-tanned, so it's probably gonna look a little bit crazy, but it is a really pretty concealer. And I really find, you know, even like using it on your face, like if you want to spot conceal on your face or under your eyes, I mean, it really blends out really nicely. It's very smooth. And um, it's not very cakey. Like if you use like a brush to put it on and then kind of blend it out with a beauty blender, you're not gonna have any cakiness issues at all. And I really, you know, like I said, I really enjoyed that one. It was just a little too light. So half a shade and it works for me. So I picked that up. And then I picked up another um, Bite Beauty, uh, one of their liquefied lips. I have um, one shade caramelized I think I showed you guys a while ago and this is in the shade Whip. I really like them they're really creamy they really last a really long time I um, mean this is more of like the pinky nude color of course um, it's like more of a I take that back it's a darker pinky nude and I was wearing this in my last vlog um, I had this on and it lasted a really long time like it lasted all day I didn't even touch it up but like look at that like it's super pigmented and you can, you know, put your liner on, line your lips, and then fill them in, and then put this over it, and you will have like an all-day lip color that just lasts. So it's so pretty, and I think it just works. It's like kind of like that transition from fall, from winter into spring almost, because it's kind of like it's still like in a almost like a berry, but it's not like really dark. And just for me, it, it works, and I really like that formulation. So I like that and like I said it's just it's very easy to wear then another thing at Ulta that I got at Sephora this is Ulta this is um, a two pack of the Clarisonic Radiance brush heads it was 20% off so one other thing I got that I didn't even bring out here was my um, Benefit Bravo conditioning primer I figured you guys are tired of seeing me show that um, but I did pick up another one of those because it was 20% off and you can't go wrong I'm constantly going through them so this is just a two pack of the radiance um i'm using the one that i got at during the vib sale i'm almost it's almost time to change it um the new one i don't remember what it's called whatever it is but they didn't have a two pack of that and i really just wanted to get a two pack and i really do like the radiance i've tried you know all the different brush heads and everything but i like the radiance because it's not as harsh and abrasive as some of the other ones but yet it just it, first of all it's pretty and it just i really find it really you know it cleanses my skin and exfoliates it nicely at night. Um, so I only use my Clarisonic at night. And it just, it gives my skin that, that what it needs. And it's, again, this is like for all skin types. So it's not like it's just specifically for um, one or another. And do I find that it really makes my skin look extra radiant? Maybe not, but I just like the, the feel of it. You know, it's not too harsh. It's not gonna, you know, irritate my skin, but yet it's still gonna cleanse it. So picked up that. And then I picked up, I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to stick with one store, but it's not working. So let's do this. This, uh, you guys know I already got this. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I Instagrammed a picture of this and I've used the heck out of this for the past month and a half. 
and um, I did film a review video on this, my thoughts on it, so you will see that shortly. So I'm not going to talk too much about it here, but um, this is the NARS foundation that everyone talks about, and I got medium to Santa Fe. So it was a really good match for me. It's like a good, you know, medium, just like neutral medium skin tone uh, color. So I got this, and check out that video once it comes out to know my full thoughts on it. But as with anything, I recommend getting a sample of this big time because it's it's good. But watch my review video. So <laughs> that is that. And then um, I picked up two primers. Um, this is the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. This is like the primer. It comes in the um, shaker. It's like a aerosol type of primer and you shake it up and it comes out in like a mousse. So comes out in like a cooling mousse and then you blend it if I can <laughs> and then it turns into like a you can try to make sure you can see what I'm doing it turns into like a cream and it's so weird <laughs> like it's so cooling and it feels really good like on your face you know like and it just like almost tingles and it just it smells really nice and it's very calming and I find that um, I've only used it once, so I can't really, you know, give you my full thoughts on it because I only used it once. But I found like my foundation went on really nicely over it because it gave like a really nice base to it, if that makes sense. You know, it just because it was very, it like sinks right into your skin. Like I rub this all over here, and like you can't even feel that it's here. So think of that, like putting that on your face to like kind of like blur your pores and then put your foundation over it. It's almost like nothing. So I really like that and I wanna keep keep using this to see what I really think of it. So I really, I like that. And then the other primer I got was the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Blend. This is basically a, like an apricot colored toner, toner, primer, which, you know, it's time. It, it's good to even out your skin tone. Um, I used to use the pore one, the purple one. Um, I finished that long ago, and I just never repurchased it because there were so many um, other primers that I had that I was using and, and whatnot. So I'm gonna just like kind of swatch this for you. It doesn't really, like I said, it doesn't really swatch of anything, but I mean, you can kind of see. I can get even closer here. It's right here. Like I said, it's got like a slight tint, but when you blend it out, it doesn't have any um, any sh any color. So I find that it reminds me of the pore one because it really like fills in your pores, but because it has like kind of that like apricot tint, like think of this, like when we like to use like a peach corrector under our eyes or like a more of a peach toned concealer under our eyes, this works the same way with like for your whole face. So if you have like discoloration or things like that, it's gonna really kind of balance it out. And I've really been enjoying it. Like I've used this a lot and I've been wearing these two together a lot and I really like that combination. I find that this, it, it does what it says where it neutralizes any areas that, you know, if you like around your mouth or if you have like any, any type of discoloration or redness or anything, it's really going to neutralize that and really help your foundation go on and, and blur your pores. Cause like, that's why I like primer because I want to be able to fill in my pores and just kind of give my skin a nice base before I put my foundation on. Cause I can't, you know, I guess it's, it, it's, I just can't put foundation just directly onto my skin without a primer. Even if it's just like a, the most basic primer ever. I just need to have something on there because I need to, have a base for my foundation just to be able to have it blend because it just, I don't know, that's just me. But I really like this. Um, I could definitely recommend this. I think they do sell the travel sizes of this. I think I saw them at the register at Ulta. So try that. You know, if you're in the market for a new primer and this kind of is like a, I would say like a two in one because it's gonna blur your pores and it's also gonna kind of color correct slightly. You know, instead of like throwing a corrector all over your face, this will work because it's going to neutralize any any redness. You know, sometimes if let's say you've done an exfoliation or if you just have natural redness on your cheeks or anything, it's just going to kind of balance that out. So really enjoy that a lot. Okay. 
a few more things. I picked up the new uh, beauty blender. I said I was gonna do this. The new one, the chill, looks like this. It says just, just chill and it's blue. And yes, I'm sorry, it's dirty because I have been using it because I really wanted to tell you guys if I liked it or not because you know my luck with beauty blenders in the past year or so is like horrible. I was like just using my old school one, but I really, really like this. It almost, it feels like the pink one and the black one had a baby, if that makes sense. It has the, the kind of, you know, consistency in the feel almost of the black one, you know, because the black one's kind of smooth, whereas the pink one really had that spongy feel. Like when you squeeze it, it feels like very porous. And the black one's a little bit smooth. I like both of them. Um, I never really had an issue, but this is like the two of them had a baby together. And yes, it's, it's big and everything. I was, I used it today, but I really like this. And it was just really nice for my concealer. I felt like, I, I don't know, maybe it was like a placebo effect and it was in my head, but I just found like it really blended my concealer out really nice, like without any problem. I was just like, doo, 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 and I was like, wow, you know, it looked really good. And then of course, you know, when you apply your foundation, I just kind of touch over any areas that, you know, needed to be softened, but I really like this. Like, I really like this one. Um, I'm going to clean it and make sure it still stays this way. You know, I just, you know, when I got it, I ran it under the faucet to, to start to use it. So I'm curious if when I cleanse it with the cleanser, if, I hope it doesn't change it. I don't think it should. I mean, it really, and it didn't lose its um, moisture. Remember that, the um, baby pink one? I hated it because it just, you would get it damp and then you would go to use it and it just, it didn't hold the, the moisture. It was like using like sandpaper almost to put your foundation on. I hated that one. Um, but this is like a really good consistency. So if you were looking for a new beauty blender and this one is just pretty, it's like that really pretty aqua color and it just says, just chill. So really like this. I feel like I ranted a really long time about a beauty blender, but I got that. Okay, a couple more things guys, I promise. Okay, Ulta. I was at the register and they had a two pack of their version of their makeup remover cloths. So I feel like I have tried all of them now. I have the makeup eraser, I have the Sephora ones, and now I have the Ulta ones. And it did come in a two pack, but the one I used, it's in my bathroom hanging over the rack to dry from last night. So looks like this, it's gray, it's very soft. It feels very similar to the, the black ones from Sephora. I find it's a little bit smaller. So I find I really have to like, use it and then rinse it and then use it to to get my whole face especially if i'm wearing like a full face of makeup and this little thing kind of annoys me because i like to use this side to remove my makeup more so than this side but i mean i guess i could just cut it off but very similar very similar to the sephora one i like it i mean i think it's good to change off you know instead of using the same one over and over even though i wash them but then the more you keep washing them you know the more they're going to kind of lose their their softness. It's just with anything, you know, the more you wash something, the it's going to change the, the material of it, especially these where they're kind of like this soft, fluffy material. But, you know, if you ever wanted to try one of these, go ahead and, and give it a whirl because I think this was like 10 bucks at Ulta, something like that. It, it was really inexpensive and it was just at the register. So picked those up. And then at Sephora, okay, let me just finish Ulta, okay? I have two more things from Ulta. So, I picked up the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation and I got the shade Light Neutral. I'm wearing it today. Let me see, do I like it? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about this foundation because it's the first time I'm wearing it. But, um, okay, that just messed up my lighting, whatever I did. So I got the Tarte Shape Tape. It looks like this and you open it and it's like the concealer. And I don't know why I wanted to try this foundation so bad because I hated the concealer. Like I really don't like the concealer, but I wanted to try the foundation. So I got the shade Light Neutral because if you watch my vlog video, I was swatching them all and they were all oxidizing on my hand super fast. So I ended up going lighter than I normally would, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't know if this has oxidized much. When I've just been in here filming, um, and when I put it on, it seemed really light, but I, I don't know. I, I have to really give that a try uh, before I make my full statement on it. But I tried it. I mean, it seemed 
I thought it would have more coverage, I guess. Because I felt like I really had to like go over a couple areas. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I will try this a few more times and then give you a review on it. So I don't want to bash it right away, but my, my advice is to um, shade down. Go like a shade or two down because it will oxidize. So that is that. And then I got an eyeliner. This is the... Um, okay. Uh, quick, quick backstory. You guys know I usually use the uh, YSL waterproof gel liner in my tight line. I've used that for about a year, like nonstop. Ever since I got it, I've been using it. Lately, every time I would use it, my eyes would get really irritated and water. And I was thinking it was my contacts. You know, I was like having issues. But I was like, no, because it only happens whenever I wear that liner. Like my eyes, like would just really burn and. and irritate me. So then I deduced that it's probably the eyeliner irritating my eyes, even though I did, never did that before. I just started recently doing it. So I went on the hunt to find a, you know, contact lens wear safe eyeliner. And I just kind of typed in eyeliner contact lenses, you know, something like that, just to kind of see what was out there. And this popped up on both websites, on Sephora and Ulta. It was the Tarte um, Sex Kitten eyeliner. So it just kind of reminded me um, in a way of the YSL one. I mean, it, it twists up and it's just black and it's kind of like a that gel consistency. And I really like it. I've worn it. When did I get it? I, I've only, I haven't had it that long, but I've worn it like two or three times and it has not irritated my eyes. Like, thank gosh. I'm like, oh my God, I can like leave my house and not have my eyes watering and you know, messing up my eyeshadow and everything because it's like just so irritating. So I really believe it was probably that eyeliner. So this is just safe, you know, natural for, for that, especially think of, think of you're putting eyeliner like right under your upper waterline. It's like right there. So of course it's going to irritate you. So this thankfully has not, and I really do like it and it has not felt, you know, itchy or anything. So I guess I just needed to switch over to, um, you know, it has no sodium lauryl sulfate, uh, no parabens, no mineral oil. It, it's basically just a pretty natural liner um, and it's ophthalmologist tested, of course. So I guess that's why, you know, that's what I was looking for. So I picked that up. So that's it from Ulta. The last two things I got were from Sephora. So this one I was really curious about. It's the new Sephora Cleansing Oil in Balm makeup remover. And this is their version of like the It Cosmetics one that I use, the cleansing balm. Everyone is coming out with their own cleansing balm, I guess. But I was just really intrigued by it because I really love it. The It Cosmetics one is very expensive. I think it's almost 40 bucks for it, but it's a huge tube tub. This, I've used this once and I, I mean, I like it. It, it did the job. It, it melted away all my makeup and I really I have nothing bad to say about it. It smells really good. It has like flower extracts in it and it smells very clean, very, very natural. I, however, I feel like I will go through this very quickly because it is so, so much smaller. I don't think you need as much as I used. I took a pretty heavy <laughs> scoop out of it. Um, so you probably don't need as much as I, I used. So maybe it'll last longer. I, I don't know. I guess I should just use it consistently. But I liked that it was like 18 bucks. So it was a little bit cheaper than the um, It one, but the It one's bigger. So we'll, we'll have to see. But I really do like this. If you are looking to try a, um, we're just trying to see if it says anything else, but it just says it cleanses and it hydrates. And it's a bomb. So basically put this on dry skin and really massage it everywhere and it melts your makeup and then you know, I use one of these to wipe it off. But if you're looking to try one of the cleansing balms and maybe you don't want to try the It one, try that one because it's um, it works the exact same way and it, and it gave me the same results. So we'll see how long it lasts. And then the last thing I swear, this is, this is it, um, was another uh, blush from Hourglass. I, I really wanted this one for a while. I got diffused heat. Um, I was just looking for, I don't know, I'm channeling spring, I guess. I was looking for one of those shades that I can kind of just wear you know, throughout the spring, that's going to just go with everything. So this is more of your like poppy color and it's, it looks bright and scary in the pan, but it's really not. Like when you swatch it, it almost swatches like, like you can't even, I don't know why I'm trying to swatch it. It doesn't swatch to anything, but yet when I put it on my cheeks, it looks really pretty. 
it's not like bright and scary and you're not gonna look like you have clown cheeks when you put it on. It just looks really healthy and natural. I actually wore it yesterday. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday so you wouldn't have seen it. But it just looked really pretty. You know, it was like a very pretty like, you know, not a baby pink, but like a light pink wash of color, which is like a hint of um, like, like that poppy-ish raspberry shade. But because it's mixed with with the other powders in it, or the the diffused light powder, so it has more of like that yellow, it really softens it. So it just looks really pretty. It's like you didn't even need to put on it like an extra highlight because it just kind of glowed. So I really like this and I like that I can just use this and transition from like where it now and just kind of transition from spring into summer with this. And it's just kind of like one of those easy wear blushes. And I think the only other ones I have from Hourglass are Oh God, that really pretty nude one. And then two other ones, but I really don't reach for them. So I may just pitch them, whatever. Um, Cause they're old, but anyway, so I really like this. So this concludes my huge collective makeup haul. I feel like I have talked for way too long. This is 26 minutes and just yapping away of all this makeup. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed my first video back from my little leave of absence. And I will try not to do that. And I'll try to not leave you guys, even though I'm was feeling kind of bleh, but um, I was sick. Like like I said in my vlog video, I really was sick battling that cold flu for like a couple weeks, and it was scary. You know, like I could not get better. Like I thought I was getting better, and then I would just get sick again. And it was just, and I'm not the kind of person that gets sick because I take so many supplements. And I promise, yes, guys, I I I will. I know a lot of you have asked me for my um, the supplements that I take daily, and I will film that. Um, it's just, it's going to be a long video because I want to tell you guys why I take it and what I take it for. And I was trying to get my uncle to film with me because he's my health guru. He's certified in it. It's what he does. He's, you know, a certified, um, you know, health, why can't I think of what he is? Oh my God. But he's, and he's, he's specialty supplements. So everything that I know about it, I've learned from him. So I was trying to get him to film with me so he could like give you guys, you know, better information than I could, but he doesn't want to be on film. So I was really trying, you know, like, come on, please, you know, but he doesn't want to, but he's just such a wealth of knowledge about supplements and health and everything that I would just love for him to, to do it with me. But if he doesn't, I'll just do it. But I was trying to, to do that and then let me let me know also guys do you want to see just like a full sit down video like where I sit here and, and talk to you guys about it or do you want it more like vlog style like you want me to do a um like a vlog of what I eat in day in a day with my supplements or just just sit down and just talk to you guys about it? like I, I don't know because like I've done my um what I eat in a day videos in the past but I never included those supplements so let me know. Let me know what'll work better, what you would rather see. Because I, I mean, I could just sit and bring them all in here and just tell you guys, I guess it's not a big deal. Anyway, why am I ranting about this? Thank you so much for sticking with me, for being here with me, for supporting me. I love you guys so much. I, I am doing this, you know, for you guys. That's why I'm here. So I'm sharing everything because you guys mean a lot to me. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell next to my name. And why I tell you to hit the bell is because YouTube does not always put my videos or anyone's videos in your feed. You might miss them. So if you get notified, it will give you an alert when a new video goes up so you don't miss anything. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, thumbs up for this video if you enjoyed this whole video. And I'll see you guys very soon.